Hi guys, we are continuing with the day 3 problems of InfiTQ module 1 that is programming fundamentals with Python and today we are going to solve the third problem or the 13th problem overall from a selected problem list from InfiTQ. So what does the 13th problem say basically? The 13th problem says that we are in, given an input of 3 sites and we have to say whether these 3 sites can form a triangle or not. So what is basically the condition for three sides that can form a triangle that is also given as the hint here that is this uh, one side cannot be greater than or equal to the sum of the other two sides. Okay. So let's uh, this is a pretty simple logic and I guess we would be able to implement it in a much easier manner so uh, than the rest of the problem. So let's jump into our pie charm and let's code this out. Uh, let's close this particular problem 12. So let's create a new python file that is problem 13. Okay. So what does the problem 13 say? First we have to take in the input of three sides and we have to check whether they are uh, triangle or not. Uh, the three sides they can form a triangle or not. So def is underscore triangle. Uh, def is underscore triangle. It will be, uh, so I'm just creating the function first that would be checking whether the three sides are triangle or not and a b c are the three sides of the triangle as you can guess from the inputs or the parameters that are provided in the function here if a plus b is less than equal to c that is one side that is c is greater than or equal to uh, the a plus b so that would be one case where it would not be a triangle the other would be b plus c is less than equal to a or it would be c plus a would be less than equal to b so these are the three conditions where a particular site will not be a triangle okay so i would be returning can't form a triangle okay else I would be returning can form a triangle so these are the conditions on which the triangle can be built and the next thing that is we would be taking in the input of the three sides. Okay, we have successfully written our function for checking whether it is a triangle or not. A is equal to int input. I will be taking the input of the first side. Enter the first side. B would be equal to int input enter the second site and c would be equal to int input enter the third site okay so uh, you would be taking in the input of the three sites in a b c and i would be just printing the output of is underscore triangle and I would be passing in the three values a b and c and this is it for our code uh, so let's just take in some examples of codes I mean some examples of triangles examples of right angle triangle right angled triangles as I do not remember what could be the possible sides of a triangle okay so three four five can be a possible combination right um, so let's just run this problem 13 three four five okay and the first side three four five 
Yeah, it can form a triangle. So we got our first output as correct. Uh, let's try an equilateral triangle. That is four, four, and four. It can also form a triangle. Uh, so we are right up to this. Uh, an example of what was the other type of triangle? It was an isosceles triangle, right? Let's try an isosceles triangle. Um, am I getting any sides here? I just need some sides. So it would be 554. 554 five, is a isosceles triangle. Obviously, two sides are equal. Yeah. 554. Five, yeah, it can also form a triangle. And for the last one, I would be trying a scalene triangle. I guess we have tried that before with the right triangle, right? 345 was a scalene triangle itself. Let's just run it again and let's just provide something that would generate an error. Uh, for example, four two two it can't form a triangle as two plus two is equal to that is the first side is equal to the summation of the second and the third side so i guess we have uh, followed all the test cases that can be um, possible for this particular problem and we have solved them successfully so thanks for watching this video guys if you liked it drop a like and see you in the next problem of this series. Thank you.